All right, guys, we are back with another video. We really wanted to go over some non-electric cooking that we do, even though our van is solar power and has an electrical system and we can use that 120 easily. We wanted to show you some of the alternatives that we use for cooking. So one of the things that we love about the BioLite is that when you do purchase this, right off the bat, you get this grate, no matter what. So you can always use this grate for food cooking, which is awesome because unfortunately, like the solo stove doesn't have that. They have attachments, but this does come with it right away. And then once you're ready, you just kind of slide this over. And then what we're gonna do is put our cast iron on top of this to make some nachos. All right guys, so nachos. Got our cast iron. Gonna dump some cookies in. Last time that we made this, we really messed up. We're gonna add some Mexican cheese on there. I'm gonna do some black beans. Let's add these now. And hopefully this won't take too long sure. to warm up. All right, we're gonna put this on there probably for about 10 minutes, I'd say, and see how it looks. Nachos on. Woo, smoke in the eyes. Mm -hmm. Lid on. Let's check. Ooh, look at that, it's getting there. That looks almost perfect. Yep, got some cheese on the top. So nachos one were a fail. Uh, <laughs> burnt the shit out of them. Yep. So what we did, we scraped it all out, and we just we heated up the lid, and then the pan was still hot because mm -hmm. it's cast iron. We put it all in there again. We put it up there for two minutes, took it off, and we're just letting it chill now. Yeah, I think we got a minute left, and yep. we can check it. Yep. Um, camp nachos are harder than you think. Yeah, but We're 0 and 2 right now with yep. them. <laughs> yep, and we want to try them. Don't know why. They just sound so good. They do sound good. It's always a problem. I know. So, but cooking on the BioLite, it's super easy, especially with that grate on top. Like, you already have somewhere to put a pan, put a pot. Mm -hmm. That's why we like bringing this stuff, because then it doesn't eat up our batteries and we don't have to worry about it. So, this, we've showed you um, the Disco Camper that we have as well too with the Scottle. The Disco Series? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, iCamper does that. It's like literally like the Tembo Tusk. And we have that and you could just use that for a burner. It's great. We showed you guys um, when we went camping last time with that. Mm -hmm. We also have our Jet Boil that we'll be using probably to make oatmeal in the morning yeah. that we're gonna show you too. But having like different options to be able to cook things on, especially when like shit hits the fan, it's really nice to have these options. It is. Yeah. So hopefully the nachos are good. That looks a little bit better. That looks much better. We're gonna see how this turns out. Okay. Yep. Is that what you were telling me to check? Okay. Yeah, I did 20 seconds left. Okay. I was like, I think we should be good. Yeah. The cheese isn't even melted. Not in the middle, no. Back up for me, hot dogs and buns. <laughs> the 
Cheers. Awesome. Give me a kiss. got our new Dometic water jug down there. Absolutely love it. Have the dispenser for it. Mm -hmm. And then when we need water, we just do that. And we had a five gallon with the dispense top and it was just a mess. It's hard to look around. It's louder than this. And mm -hmm. this just works so much better for us. And it's been a game changer because now we don't have to keep two gallons of cold water in the fridge. We can just refill this and then always have it. some oatmeal and then go fishing. Mm -hmm. So we're up here in Rainbow Campground and it's really nice because the campsites are pretty spread out. So we are at 9,000 elevation though, which we had no idea about. We've all decided to have breakfast this morning and someone's been so much better about eating their breakfast. Oh, yes you are. Yes you are, hold on. Yes you go breakfast. Someone's got their generator on, of course. All morning. All morning. It's been fun. Yeah. So we are going to show you our drip oil system. Yeah. Yep. So it all comes packed in to here when you buy it. So everything's inside, which is really nice. But we ran out of the original one, so we're using larger fuel. Um, you just have to kind of get the fuel that matches because it does twist on to the burner. You want to make sure you flip that out because we always forget. And then you can't ignite it. This guy goes up top and it does kind of lock in. You gotta twist it. And throw the lid on. And it does boil really fast. Woo. And what's cool about this one? Yeah, I was just looking for yeah, it. Yeah, is that this guy right here will bite up as the water gets hot. Yeah, yep. it kind of it turns orange. Yeah, which is awesome. That way you're not like checking. <laughs> yeah. And what's also nice is it comes with a, like a measuring cup. Yeah, the measuring cup it comes with. But mm -hmm. also, we you can buy this extra. Yeah. And that's a pot attachment, so you can put a pot on top of that instead of the actual jet bowl itself. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna have some oatmeal this morning. Yeah. And someone is gonna have some. Oh no. I'm gonna, gonna try it. We'll we're gonna see. try some <laughs> matcha green tea. This will be scary. Yeah. Well, sorry if you guys can hear the generator, unfortunately. Um, but we wanted to talk about, you know, the Jeb oil. That's another great source of cooking. We also have like just a single burner. Um, I think we might have footage of it 
if not we'll throw some in yeah it's just a single one that takes the uh butane tanks so mm -hmm. the little small cylinder ones that you slide in you clip in um that's great and as you guys know when we lost all power that night on that trip that we took uh, you know our 2300 mile trip luckily we had other options to cook mm -hmm. before we knew everything just kind of fell apart yeah and so i would think you know for reasons when you're have a system like we do it's battery it's solar it's electrical and you have an induction cooktop that's great and everything but to have other options and vice versa mm -hmm. right if something doesn't work gas wise or fire wise for some reason you've got your backup so i think it's smart to make sure that you have all of those kind of in play mm -hmm. and we've enjoyed it the jet boils really small the bio light fits great the solo stove fits great mm -hmm. we've got the eye camper the disco series we've got that attachment so and it's really nice because then you can kind of choose how you want to cook you know and like have an adventure that way mm -hmm. so we love having all these other options for sure mm -hmm. and the oatmeal is great <laughs> i'm glad i haven't tried mine yet yeah <laughs> i know we good? like that one we love this one bob's red mill this one's really good yeah yeah kodiaks yeah and it's a protein one too yeah it tastes like it doesn't it so it tastes like yeah protein powder yeah which is fine i'll eat it yeah but. these are the best those are good yeah i saw that face it's gonna be strong oh it smells gross oh my god i just got a whiff of it it's it's very strong Ooh, nope it's very earthy nope. which is not what you like nope Seaweed. Seaweed. Yep. That's so awesome. All females. All females. I think there's one male. Is there? Yeah. I don't see him. Oh my god. Oh, my baby. The oh, one in front of us he wants to get over. Oh, did you get lost? Oh. That's so cool. Yeah. That's not an elk. No. That's one of those like gazelle things uh -huh. we have here. Yeah. So we made some basil, pesto, orichini, zucchini, tomato thing. Um, you want to tell them what happened, babe? Yeah, we um, didn't download the instructions, so we had no idea what we were doing, but we knew the ingredients, and we don't have cell service, so we couldn't look it up. So we just kind of winged it, yep. and hopefully it's good. Yep. So we'll see how this goes. So dinner was good. If you guys can tell we're eating more veggie dishes because I was told that I am making too much uric acid kidney stones. Yeah. So we're having to change the diet a little bit, but dinner was good. We're walking right now to dump our trash, then head back, probably start a fire and then relax the rest of the night. Yep. And we will check in with you guys later. A new toy, or you got a new toy. Yep. See what happens. Blow torch. Activate. Hey. Yep. Wow. So when you tip it, definitely lets the fuel. Yeah. This is how all the cool people do it, right? That was a little scary. <laughs> I like fire though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take it. Yar! All right, guys, we are heading out. We packed up camp. We stopped at Mavericks for their famous biscuit sandwiches are really good. We're on a roll with these. Yeah, we are. So if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up, 
Hit subscribe. We're coming out with videos weekly, and we will see you guys on the next one.